Hello, in this video, we are going to unboxing the High Vision IP camera and then connect it to the IP tester, do the initial configuration, and solve the RTSP error, which is the main point of this video. Okay, and let's have a look at the uh, specification of the camera. This is a model 4mm angle, 4 megapixel. HD camera and waterproof WDR and IR. Let's start. Okay, this is CD and user guide, and this is the drilling template screwdriver star okay and then this is the waterproof connections this is the camera Okay, let's open this uh, waterproof connection. And the way how to connect, this is the main washer from the wire side. Okay. This is O-ring washer. And this is a way to close it uh, but one thing before we have to clip the RJ45 jack but for here I remove this one and directly connect uh, here also let's open have a look through this this is the micro SD slot in case without recorder in usual using and here also the factory reset button is there you can reset it to factory default Let's uh, connect it to the IP camera tester. And this is for the adapter, power adapter in case uh, no PoE switch. Okay, we turn it on. Camera tester. Let's just get boot. Okay. Turning on the PoE option, power out. I'm turning on the 48V sign is showing and we will see in the camera also okay this is the tools from my vision if you refresh it will show the camera IP Okay, here is the default IP camera 168.1.64. Here the status is showing inactivated. Okay, and we press enable. It's going to enable the camera for first time. It asks the password. Okay, we'll set the password for camera. Okay, the username is admin. 
I copy the password and uh, it's showing camera is activated okay, if I refresh it will change the status to the activated let's we try to log in to camera once we pressing the login button is showing RTSP URL timeout this is the main point of this video how to deal with this error okay. uh, here we have one tools from Hacky Vision to identify our camera IP address and we can do some initial and basic configuration also uh, here is showing the status of our camera and IP address however we know the IP address this is default okay let's change the IP of com camera to the same subnet just I want to say here we can use other browser like a Chrome and Mozilla but for if you want to see the view footage of the camera you have to use the Internet Explorer because only it's plugin available for Internet Explorer at the right time okay put the IP address of the camera in the browser the username by default is admin and the password which we given at the activation time login yes so here you can see the view of camera go to configuration tab and then we select from the left side we select networks advanced setting and then here integrated integration protocol we have to enable the ONVIF okay and add the one user we will add the admin user which we have set at the time of activation and uh, two time for password you can add another user but the which username you entered you have to use there okay and we will give some roles uh, like uh, administrator we can put save it okay let's come back to our IP camera tester here again our IP camera is showing I try to log in yes it's got logged in and uh, we can play the video is asking for the resolution to play it's better to put the low resolution and view of the camera you can see footage is showing you can take a photo you can record the video please subscribe to our channel if you found this video useful thank you